lockdowns, it is time for Matt. Now, before we kick off, we're going to have a quick look at some of the work you sent us last week. Okay, let's have a look at some of the work we've been sent in. Just to the end of last week, first of all, here's Grace. She's in Liverpool. She's done a wonderful piece of descriptive writing. She looks very proud of that. Well done, Grace. We've got Henry. He's new to the channel, and here he is working hard at home. Well done, Henry. Here's Olivia with a fantastic piece of writing about a little hog. Look at that hog. Very cute indeed. Here's Ben joining in with our Kahoot quiz. He looks pleased. I'm guessing he's getting it right and winning. Well done, Ben. Here's Josh enjoying a lovely, peaceful read in the sunshine at home. Nice socks, Josh. And here is Noah, chilled at the end of a busy week on learning lockdown, putting his feet up, having a good read. Well done, Noah. And Elijah's done a lovely piece of descriptive writing, presented it just like he's in school, underlined date. We love it, Elijah. And finally, here's one of our number one fans, Lucy in Berkshire, taking part in the Kahoot quiz as well. Well done, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much for sending us in. Please keep doing that. So, this week in maths, we are moving on to learning about addition. Yes! So today I'm going to gonna sing uh, a little song. Row, row, row your bow gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Sorry. That is absolutely rubbish. You don't. Thanks for this opportunity. No, 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 not audition, edition. Okay, Mr. A. Thought that was my moment to shine, but we'll have to stick with learning lockdown instead. Yes, addition, another name for addition, adding, another name, plus, another name, the sum of two numbers. What we mean by that is we're getting two numbers and we're joining them together. We're getting two numbers that have value and we're putting their value together and seeing what their overall value becomes. So this is one of our dropout lessons, so if you're listening for this noise, because when we do that, it is time for one of you to drop out or two of you to drop out and crack on with your tasks. But if you find those tasks super duper easy because you're super duper smart, you can join back in with the lesson and try in a year above if you can try their challenges. So we're going to kick us straight off with some three digit addition. Now, if we're having a three digit number, Let's see if we can remember our place value, because that is going to be really helpful. Okay, we've got the two numbers. Mr. S, what are they? We've got 243 add 316. Right. Well, I hope you can remember your place value, because you can see both of these numbers have some ones, some tens, and some hundreds. And these are going to be really useful when we look at setting this addition out using a formal written method called column addition. What we do is we start with our first number, and then we write our second number underneath. But be really careful that the digits in the ones and the digit in the tens and the digit in the hundreds all line up with the number above. So our six ones has to go under our three ones. Our one ten under our four tens. And our three hundreds under our two hundreds. And what is the calculation we are doing? Well, we're doing an addition one, so we put the symbol just here. Then using a ruler at home, we don't have one here, but using a ruler at home, put a line underneath that. And we simply work, strangely, not from left to right like we do normally when we're reading, we work from right to left. And we'll see why in the next sum, why we do that. Three ones add six ones. No. Thank you. Then here, we can see there's the digits four and one, but we know those are four tens and one ten. Four lots of ten and one lot of ten. If I know four and one, then I know four lots of tens and one lot of ten. What is four lots of ten add one lot of ten, Mr. S? That would be five lots of ten, and I know my ten, so I know that is fifty. Brilliant. Now, we don't write the 50 with a 5 and a 0, because that 0 and 50 would normally go in the 1s column, but he's been hidden by the 9. He is there, the digit 0, that placeholder, but at the moment he's been hidden by the 9. So we just write it as 5 lots of 10, but we know that would be 50. Then we move on to our 100s. 2 lots of 100. Add 3 lots of 100. Oh, we're, in the right, we're in the right room for this. Three lots of a hundred, Mr. S. One, two, three, four, five lots of a hundred. And again, if we're counting hundreds, that is five hundred. 
500, but we just write the digit five because he's already in the hundreds place value column. 243 add 316 equals 559. As simple as that. And we can put our answer up the top. Very straightforward if you follow those steps. Let's try one more with three digits for year three and four, but this time using a skill called regrouping. Thank you, Mr. A. So now we have 765 plus 416. How do I lay it out? The same as before. Careful about your place value, ones, tens, and hundreds. What's the calculation? Get a ruler. Thank you, Mr. A. Some of you may have already spotted we might run into a little bit of bother with this one. Okay, but let's work it out and find out. For the first column we start with is always the ones, and we're gonna add five ones to six ones. And what does that make? Well, five add six. I know my number bonds to 10, so five and five makes 10. So five and six makes 11 lots of one. 11 ones. Now we can't do this. We also can't do this. Okay. Social distancing at all times, please. Yeah, nothing hands. to do with maths, but we can't do it. So we have at the moment 11 in one column, but we can't have more than one digit in any of our columns, okay? 11, 11 ones is the same as one ten and one one. So what we do here is we take this digit here, which represents our one ten, and we're gonna regroup it, that's an important word, regroup it into our tens column. But we're not gonna just gonna bang it right there in the kind of main working out part of our tens column, because we haven't looked at the other parts of our tens column yet. So we're actually just gonna place a little one just at the bottom there to remind us that it's there, okay? And now we can look at the tens column and you can see that we've got six tens and one ten. Mr. A, what does that make? Seven, but I've still got that ten that you regrouped. You can't forget about it, it's there. You regrouped it from the ones column, so I've got six lots of 10, add one lot of 10 is seven lots of 10, add another lot of 10 is eight lots of 10, eight lots of 10 is 80. I don't need to write 80 because I'm in the tens column, I just write the digit eight. How about that? And don't forget, we can cross this little guy out now because you might forget that he's there again. We used him, we're fine. Then we move on to our hundreds column, and again, you might spot, hmm, that's gonna make more than 10, seven or four, Mr. A. For my place, mm. Well, my number bonds tell me seven out of three is 10. Yep. So seven out of four is 11. 11 lots of 100. Well, actually, I can see in there that 10 of those hundreds is the same as this block, which is 1,000. So actually here, I've got 1,100. So we're gonna regroup 10 of these hundreds for 1,000, but we're gonna keep hold of him because we're gonna need him. So we've still got 10 here, so let's regroup these 10 into 1,000. You ready? Wow, look at that, we've regrouped it, okay? So now we've got 1,100, and that's how we're gonna write it on our answer. Now you may notice we don't actually have a thousands column yet, but that doesn't matter, okay? We can just imagine that there's one there because we know it carries on, actually carries on forever if you wanted to. It comes so, out for the 100, so let's put that 100. Yep, yeah, that goes in first, one. and then our 1,000 goes next to that in what would be the next column. And we have our answer, 1,181. Year three fours, you've got some tasks below. Cover your ears. Drop out. Year five and six, it's your turn. We're only going to do so, one with you because we don't like you. Yes. We don't want to spend that long no. too long with you. Then. Or, or we think you're pretty clever. I know what to do. One example, fish, bash, bosh. Go and do your work. So, four digit, add four digit. Here we go. What have we got, Mr. S? We have got 4,581 plus 2,719. Let's put them down in the correct formal written method, column addition. I saw you there. I saw who didn't use a ruler back home. Use that ruler. We're going to start off, as ever, in the ones column. We're not going to use these, so that's going over there. You are, you are, you are, we are sorry, because we don't watch. We, we'll, we'll tidy up. We put them all back in the correct box. Yeah, we'll tidy up. So, one plus nine, ten. Now, we've just said in the last part of the video, you can't put more than one digit in any column. So with ten, that isn't going to work. It doesn't fit. It doesn't go. So we've got, in ten, there's no ones from that digit zero, but there is one ten. So we'll put the zero ones here, and the one lot of ten in ten, as a small one, down here. Eight tens plus one ten is nine tens. 
but we've got this extra one we can't forget about him. So nine tens plus the extra ten is ten tens. Ten lots of ten is the same as a hundred. So we can't write a ten here, so we put the zero here, and we carry that one again. It's been regrouped into the hundreds. Here we go to the hundreds. Five lots of a hundred, add seven lots of a hundred. It's 12 lots of 100, add another one, 13 lots of 100. So we write it out, we keep the three in that 13 in the 100, and we carry that 10 lots, and there's 13, 13 is made of three ones, and one time we take that 10 lot, we regroup him over to the thousands, cross out what we've used. And finally in the thousands, we've got 4,000 plus 2,000, which I know makes 6,000, but we've got our extra thousand that we regrouped, which makes 7,000. We've got 7,300. That is a nice number, that one. Now, five, six, we're not spending too long with you on this one. Go on, let's go. Get. Don't forget to send us your work. We will give you the answers tomorrow. And tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. Hit subscribe. See you later. <laughs>